Hello, this is L, and this is one of my Lego mocks. This is my BFF modular house, kind of a duplex for me and my BFF. Her floor is the bottom floor, and we both picked a kind of two colors to go with. Um, she picked the dark purple and black. I went with the pink and white. But this is the first level that I built. And it's the bathroom, living room, and kitchen, I would say. But just to look at the entrance, you can see um, we have kind of pillars in the front, a green door that kind of stands out. I do kind of look like how it kind of looks nice and detailed right there. Not the best. Um, as I do things, I notice I will slowly get better at them. So I might revisit this one, but maybe not. So first of all, let's go to the bathroom. Here we have the um, giant bathtub. Kind of went with a different design where I used um, doors in there to kind of mimic water level. Bar of soap representation. You got your hot and cold up there. Um, and then just kind of some other things that are like lotions or washes or whatever. Um, the other side of the bathroom is going to be where the toilet and simple toilet in the corner there. Not too proud of this room. I've learned a lot since then, um, since I've really done this one. We got a little sticker here for a mirror, a little sink there. This is supposed to be a curtain that is actually terrible. It's supposed to lift up. Um, yeah, I think, I think we'll just imagine curtains are there. Um, here's like a little air ventilation type thing in the corner there. Um, you can see kind of the bathtub down here a little closer. And there's stairs that go right above the bathtub. This is the living room area. And there's a banana on the floor. We can imagine that's a toy for a dog because she does have a dog. And basically a nice purple couch there with a big TV. And we'll imagine that these are like DVDs or video games or something. And I even have attached one of these Ninjago controllers to a made-up video game console down there. Yes, I know they're all wireless now, but I thought it's more representative and cool to have a cord. And I thought I just thought it was neat. Here is the kitchen area. You can see a refrigerator across from there and I'll kind of pull that out. That was way too detailed of a build and I think not worth it as much. Um, but on the back here, you can see a pizza on the counter on a pizza pan. We got a really tiny sink. Um, not too happy with that. Lots of cabinets and different things you could do down here. We'll say that's a dishwasher. Candy bar in the corner. Um, and then we'll have what's a microwave or an oven down here. So pretty simple on the first floor. Um, the refrigerator, um, yeah, I made it because I wanted to have an opening refrigerator, and you can see there's no back, which is supposed to be the wall. Um, it's really interesting, a little different. Um, I think in the future, I wouldn't necessarily try and design an opening one. Um, I'd probably do something a little different, but I do think it kind of turned out neat. This is one of my earlier things that I have worked on, so not too special there, I guess. But I think it turned out pretty nice. You can see that the floor is tiled super purple. Um, it makes it easier for cleaning up. But there's a little bit of detail on the outside that you couldn't see on the exterior review. And that's the like heating and cooling, air conditioning type unit back here for the whole entire building. And it's just kind of a greebled up little thing I got going there to make it something that attached there. Looks like maybe air conditioning or something like that. So there's also a creature down there if you didn't know. Um, but that's the first level, so what I'm going to do is we're going to go up a stair and check that one. Okay, here we have the second level. Um, we'll say this area is the bedroom, and that is what we'll take a look at first. And you can see there's a nice, luxuriously big bed there. Um, we got a little end table here with a lamp, another end table over there, and a dresser awkwardly across. It is very tight in here. It is Lego, so it's a little bit difficult to get stuff in here. Um, on the other side of this little bedroom area, if I can spin it around, we see their computer desk. And they have a computer desk that both of them can sit at and actually can pull it out here, get a closer look. Kind of have these on here as representation of mouses 
and maybe some little snacks and beverages on there. It's just a nice simple table. Two computer monitors on there. Each of them get their own chair. This is her husband's chair. You can see that right there, just a green. And then her chair is, of course, in this purple. Simple, nice chairs. I would, I didn't have the parts to put um, the a jumper or something in there to make it fit in there, unfortunately. Um, but that's something one day that I will work on. Because I will, I really feel like eventually I'm just going to come back to all the buildings and stuff that I've ever made custom. And with everything I've learned, try to make it better. But here we can see as leaves have fallen. These don't stay in as good as I thought they would. I think it's because they're kind of rubbery. But here we have the door that goes out to the like elevated patio type garden your backyard area they do have a dog so he'll need some place to go to the bathroom unfortunately he's lazy so he apparently went right on the concrete there but this stairway goes up to my level but otherwise there's a little concrete here and then it goes into the like floral area which is a little bit overgrown you got a nice tree on the side here um, you can see that there's kind of a path that's been created that I really like I just kind of like the concept of the greenery here and then on this corner here, there's a overgrown tree that you can see is growing through the supports and kind of just growing crazy. Um, and then just more greenery kind of over here. Um, this is one area that I would really like to fix up. I would say the main thing is the exterior supports because this just kind of looks like a mess. And I think... It's something that I could work on because like this is not on the corner, neither is that one. And yeah, I just think it's something that I could work on a little bit better. Um, one time down the line, like I said, I'll probably come back and redo this. But let's take these stairs up a level and see what's in my part. Okay, so here we have the first level of my duplex part. Um, I do like, obviously you can see how the exterior is kind of pink bricked and I did use in some of the front windows the purple windows um, and then some smaller windows I would also imagine that for privacy I could also since it's a little sci-fi I can turn them to be unable to be seen through etc but this area is basically a bathroom um, right here we have a really simple shower I put a little shower head kind of thing in there opens up like this and you hop in there um, the windows can, like I said, turn opaque, but it's kind of nice to sometimes take a shower with some actual light. We got some, uh, just different, you know, bathroom type stuff, a little picture on this little shelved area over here. On the other side, we have a sink and a little end table with probably some stuff in there. Um, we have some sort of crazy device for toilet paper. And we have a toilet that I spent way too much time designing. I did give it a gold bowl there, but obviously you can see the color concept is pink and white. And I think down the line, again, if I redo this building, there's definitely something I can do to modify this. I think one of the things I'm learning when I do modular buildings, before I even build the buildings, is to make the furniture and kind of concept out what I want for all the furniture and stuff, and then make the building. Um, I'm, I've been doing it the other way, which I'm learning has its own problems, which you don't have the space right for a building, etc., etc. Um, one of this, this is an elevator. So I use these doors because I have tons of them, and I think they kind of look cool. Um, but it's, you know, just an area. It's not detailed out, but it's just supposed to be an elevator. You know, because I'm apparently lazy and want to use an elevator to go up and down my stairs. But that's pretty much it. This is the door exterior to the garden area, so we both can enjoy it. I can go down there and she can visit me through that door, etc. But we're going to check out the next level. Okay, here is basically my main level. Um, pretty much everything else that is in the bathroom is in here. Uh, on the back, you can see is a kitchen area. We have a stove oven right here. We got like a microwave here. We got some utensils hanging up there, a little design. Um, I like kind of how my uh, drawers came out. If I had some of the jumpers, I think those would be nice in the middle, but it gives them kind of a different look. 
big sink here. Um, you can tell that I kind of did this one after the purple one, so stuff is a little bit designed different and maybe a little better. We got a freezer-refrigerator combo here. This is where the elevator comes up. Um, and then, of course, I'm into Legos, so I have a Lego area. But I also have a bed and a dresser over here. Um, the bed I tried to make like one of those fancy curtain beds that you might have seen more often in medieval times or something. I always thought that would be cool to have. Thinking about being a princess, you know, growing up and having a nice bed and being enclosed in there I think would be pretty cool. Um, little end table on the side there. And again, I can turn my windows to be gone or blanketed so you can't see through them and the light can't come through. You know, technology should do that. I think that'd be pretty cool. Um, but here, this is a concept of a Lego table. This is... What I say this is, is a futuristic Lego sci-fi city that is done in the color of a white and that pink, of course. So maybe sometime in the future, I will eventually have a city that looks like this or something. So it's just kind of a bunch of different weird designs to make it look like different sci-fi type cities, different stuff like that. And then we'll look at my table, which is similar to my setup actually in real life. Um, but here we have a nice chair that I can sit in and we'll imagine it can roll around. But here we have maybe a display for a special building I made. Um, here's the area where I'm literally doing this video right now, the kind of white area. And we'll imagine this bionicle part is like some sort of cool spaceship I made. Here we have a computer with a weird picture on it, hot noodle dog thing. Um, here we have another poster, and this is maybe some sort of white and pink castle that I have sitting on my design table. Obviously, it doesn't have everything because you can't just fit everything in and it would take forever. But you also can see kind of more of how the exterior kind of looks. I do actually like how that blue turns out against that pink and white. Um, obviously, lots of things I could work on. Um, I imagine that the non-tiled off means it's carpeted, and that's kind of how I see things when I think of a building, that if it's tiled off, it's actual tile, and if it's not, it's more like carpet. But I thought this looked pretty cool, and like I said, this was my color scheme that I went with. Obviously, there are some other colors a little bit in there, but overall, I think this turned out pretty nice. I kind of like this. I could imagine living there, obviously, with some other things kind of there, um... It's not perfect, definitely can make it better in the future, um, but I think it's really cool. Um, let's go look at the last level, and I literally don't need to jump cut to that because it is really easy to just grab this. So the elevator goes upstairs, and I imagine that this could be like a parking lot area where I could park a hover car, or my friend could park a hover car, and just drive it away. You know, that's kind of how my city is. If you see my city, you check it out and you'll you'll see what I'm talking about. Everything is basically kind of a hover car and the like design crenellation type stuff. I kind of made this transparent hearts and I just thought it looked kind of neat and different. Um, I think in the future, like I said, I'm constantly learning more. I can do different stuff and just design stuff a little bit more. Maybe it's an issue of just spending a lot more time on it. But otherwise, this is just literally a flat roof that goes on the building. Um, I might even build like a, a roof type thing over that. So there's another building on top or a parking lot or whatever I can imagine. Because I can imagine more things than I can build. But... Um, that's pretty much it for this video. If you've watched this far, I want to thank you for watching. And if you want to see more of my kind of weird, different colored type of buildings, uh, I would check that out. One thing I did learn that I will mention is that with making these super large buildings, um, getting the modular part to fit together can be uh, problematic, to say the least. Um, I've learned that because when you have so many plates like this, they have a high tendency to warp. But yeah, so it can be difficult to actually put the modular parts together. And maybe that's just how I design the modular parts. And like I said, sometime down the line, I will work on making it better. But that is pretty much it for this video. If you've watched this far, you are incredible. 
because I'm sure I'm not the best at this, but I want to say thank you for watching this, and we will see you in one of my next videos. Thanks again.